Previously on Haunted Hangover. Is this Haunted Hangover Headquarters? Yeah, I mean, I live here. Yeah, sure. That's, that's, we, here, here. Yeah, mm -hmm. Are you Sam? I, I am Sam. Yes, Sam. I am. Sam. May I enter? I guess. Sh yeah. Okay, here we go. Come right in. Before we get into this, um, I gotta say, you know, I'm I'm still young, got a lot of things to do. I'm pretty sure I have a library book I haven't even returned. So like, I just don't think I'm ready. What? You aren't you here to take me? You must have me confused with my older brother Reaper. My name is Howard. I'm a big fan of the show. Oh, yeah. How oh, silly of me. Okay, Howard. Nice to meet you. Why are you here? I've been watching you guys very closely the last several months, and I have a proposition. What's your proposition? I think you guys need me on your team. Okay, but we're not hiring. I understand. But I'd be a great asset to have. I know all about what's creepy and spooky. Plus my brother's death. You'll never find a better candidate than me. So true. He's death. But, you know, maybe the problem, it's a little late. You know, I'm a little tired. Another day would be great. So much better. Okay. Sounds great. I'll get it to you tomorrow. Wait until you see some of my ideas. You won't regret this. Have a good night. And remember, the best cure for a hangover is more booze. Ha 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 ha. 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 What the hell was that? Oh my god. Hello everyone, Sam here. Got my pal Chris. Tell him who you are. Chris Boltney, actor, friend, co-host. Yes, thank you. Guest Thank host. you so much for coming tonight. We're in Manhattan. We're going to check out two bars that are spooky themed. Beetle House and Headless Horseman. Try some drinks. Uh, check out the ambiance. Hopefully get some footage. We're going to let you know if it's worth visiting, really. So thank you for joining us on this bar crawl edition of Haunted Hangover. Let's get spooky together. is a Tim Burton themed bar that promises Halloween every day with a cornucopia of film fan art and whimsical props. Named after one of Burton's best Beetlejuice, it opened back in May of 2016 in the East Village and started a social media outbreak ever since. The entrance is dark and discreet, but what lies beneath is every goth horror nerd's dream. Expect the soundtrack to Nightmare Before Christmas, and if you are lucky enough, you might even catch a character appearance. So put on your best shade of black and head to Beetle House for some crafty cocktails and a contagious sing-along. Are things at home? Well, things at home are fine. I just have to go and get Zero his water. Oh, Zero! Yes, that's yes. right. He's yeah. a good boy. He sure is. <laughs> I love him so dearly. You know, when we play fetch. Is this going anywhere haunted hangover haunted hangover isn't that a clever little name hmm. Interesting. <laughs> so you all hang around 
Mm -hmm. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah that's exactly how it works. I see. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you so much. For taking the time out to chat with me. Oh, oh well, of, well, of course. Let's dive right in. Beetle House. Tell me what your opinions are. Everybody knows I hate a themed bar. Yeah. Unless it's well Patrick done. Swayze themed bar. <laughs> Because no house. Swayze, no Wazy. Yeah. <laughs> but Beetle House was very well done and not too cheesy, mm -hmm. which was the great part about it, right? I, I No, know. yeah, you're right. Especially if you're a fan of Tim Burton movies. Right. This is really going to capture the imagination and the, the art and just the atmosphere that he creates mm -hmm. and encapsulates it in almost too small of a location. <laughs> But ultimately, yeah. but ultimately, it was just a really cool experience just to see everything. It's yes. kind of a bummer because, like, I feel like everyone is a Tim Burton fan in one way or another. A lot of people don't even know that they're Tim Burton fans because there's a 90% chance that you love one of his movies. Uh, first of all, those those performers really invested and gave it all, and they yes. were a lot so of good. a lot of fun. Really captured kind of the characters they were portraying. Yeah. You got quite a bit of a uh, Beetlejuice dick in the face. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, ladies, I swear to God. Hey, fuck, I swear. You will be surprised. I, I mean, but I feel like you come to this bar, you have to expect or yeah. have hope to be um, that close to one of them. Uh, it's not for people who don't like to be touched, but oh, yeah. they like full on dove into it. They did not break character once, but I really, really appreciated all of the energy because it got me into it and everyone else into it. I, w I felt like I was like a kid, yes. honestly. I was like... The one thing that I, I wanted to make note of, which I think is just kind of weird, Mm -hmm. Is that it's a cash only bar, and I feel like yeah, I forgot about something that. Uh, that kind of gimmicky bar mm -hmm. tends to be more of a tourist trap, and, right. and and to be cash only in a city like New York is is a little weird and kind of disconcerting. Like right down the road to dig in, and right. every dig yeah. in is only card. Right, exactly. So now you know you've got your mindset, your card only, and then all of a sudden you go to the bar and it's cash only. Yeah, yeah. it's like oh man. If 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 that is the biggest negative you can take away from this bar. I think the bar's doing all right. No, the, the, oh. the decorations were really cool. Obviously, if they had more space, they'd have more room for props. I'm, I'm all about the spectacle. Unlike Christopher here, <laughs> give me a good themed bar, I'm going. I don't care what the situation is, I wanna go. Oh yeah, no, that's like the highlight of going. Yeah. If, if they're for anything, getting to go in there and see just everything as a you know part of the Tim Burton yeah. You know, cinematic world become, you know, come alive. Mm -hmm. And even it references to things to, you know, because in my biggest worry was like, oh, it's only going to be Nightmare Before Christmas or, or Alice in Wonderland. Right, yeah. There was then, a couple of Pee Wee Herman yeah. things up I on the walls there. I forgot about that. Yeah. I, one of the drinks was named Glenn or Glenda, mm -hmm. which yeah. was a throwback for me. I love Ed Wood. That's yeah, my favorite right. Burton movie. <laughs> Well, speaking of drinks, you yes. got some pretty drinks there. They were very pretty. A lot of fizz. Back on the whole uh, topic of the spectacle, I mean, I really quite enjoy that they put dry ice in every single one of their cocktails because I like things that go bubbly. Um, I got two drinks. One was called This Is Halloween, and the other one was Glen or Glenda. That was good. The first one, This Is Halloween, had like the most random... Uh, like assortment of liquors and liqueurs, but it was good. It was like fireball whiskey or and pumpkin liqueur and some other thing. Beetlejuice mocked me for my my Your beer, beer selection. <laughs> what you get? And I I got uh, some whatever IPA that they had on on uh, on tap there and. He came over and thought that I had a blue moon and was mocking me because it was a woman's beer, apparently. But, which I thought was actually kind of fun. He, what? He... So with all of that being said, Beetle House's awesome staff, the ambiance, and the cocktails, how many pumpkins out of five would you give it, Chris? I'm going to give it a four. 
like I said, there were a couple of little things that I think uh, could be potentially addressed, but from my first time there, I had a hell of a time. It was a fun Saturday night, and it was a great vibe, so I think a 4 out of 5 is perfect. Alright, Tom. Uh, for me, it's an excellent location, great decor, great staff, but I'm just to go get a drink, it was a little bit tough. So for me personally, as a bar, I'd give it a three and a half pumpkins out of five. I'm going to agree with Chris on this one. And I had a really good time. It was awesome. I want to bring all my homies there. Four out of five pumpkins.